Hello and uh, welcome in this video. Uh, this is not a typical exercise of mathematics. This is a nice trick to know. This is uh, how to calculate the square of a number. And this is a two digit number. For example, what is uh, 74 squared? So if you know how to solve that, please give a try and pause the video. Otherwise, let's see the solution. So if you want to calculate the square of a two-digit number, so there is a method. Let's call A a digit between 1 and 9, and B a digit between 0 and 9. So this number, AB, you want to calculate the square. Okay, so remember the remarkable identity. This is A plus B squared. This is A squared plus 2 times A times B plus B squared. This is a soft reminder. You can divide now AB squared in three groups. Group number one, this is A squared. Group number two, this is 2 times A times B. And group number three, this is B squared. So this is the beginning of the method. Let's apply this now. So what is the result of 22 squared? So we need to divide into three groups. A squared 2 times A times B and B squared. So this is 2 squared for group number 1, 2 times 2 times 2 for group number 2, and 2 squared for group number 3. So if you calculate, the answer is 484. Well, nice. So let's take another example. And if you want to calculate, for example, 41 squared. So you use the same method. And this is 4 squared, 2 times 4 times 1. And this is 1 squared. And you end up with 16. 2 times 4 times 1, this is 8. And one squared, this is one. A two digit number can be part of the group number one. Group number one is the only place where you can end up with a two or three digit number. So, now let's calculate 14 squared. You use the same method and you end up with 1 squared, group number 1, 2 times 1 times 4, group number 2, and 4 squared, group number 3. If you calculate, you obtain 1, 8, and 16. And remember what I said? I said you can end up with a two-digit number only with group number 1. In this case, we've got a two-digit number in group number three. So you need to modify this. To modify, you keep six, and this one goes to group number two. So you end up with one, eight, plus one. This one is coming from group number two, and six. So now, the answer is 196. This is the value of 14 squared. So, let's take another example. If you want to calculate 32 squared, you apply the same method. So this is 3 squared for group number 1. 2 times 3 times 2 for group number 2, and 2 squared for group number 3. So this is 
9, 12, and 4. So remember that only group number 1 can be written as a two digit number. So you need to modify this 12. You keep this digit 2 and this one goes with group number 1. So you end up with 9 plus 1, 2 and 4. And the answer is 1024. This is a value of 32 squared. And the last example is 74 squared. You apply the same method and you end up with 7 squared, 2 times 7 times 4, and 4 squared. So this is 49, 56, and 60. You need to modify group number 2 and 3. So, all the time, every time you need to begin with group number three, with the last group. So, you would like to modify this number, 16. So, you keep this digit, 6, and the 1 is going to group number 2. So, you end up with 49, 56 plus 1. And 6. So now this is 49, 56 plus 1, this is 57, and 6. Once again, 57 belongs to group number 2, so you're not able to write down a two digit number in group number 2. So you keep this digit 7, and this 5 goes to group number one. So you end up with 49 plus 5, 7 and 6. And the answer is 5476. And this is the value of 74 squared. So this is it. Thanks for watching this video. Don't hesitate to leave me a comment and I see you in another video.